Every successful project begins with a solid, accurate plan. We begin the landscape design with a consultation and an on-site visit, study the goals of the project, our customers' needs, and solve those issues. We're in our office today and we're going to discuss the design process. Dawn is here working on Dynascape, which is our computer software that's used in the design process. Once that's complete, we can do full-blown, accurate drawings, 24 by 36 inch. And let's go over here, we'll, we'll introduce you to Tom Lowry. Well, we're in the design discussion here. This video is completely about the design process and what you and I go through from the consultation with the homeowner to the final product. Yeah, well, I tell you what, I can't overemphasize how much the importance of designing is because there's a lot of landscapers out there, a lot of good ones, as a matter of fact. But when it comes to the exact placement, grades, drainage, a lot of these uh, projects aren't engineered properly. Even us, after 35 years, it's tough to get it always right, right spot on, as you know. But in any event, it all starts with a good plan, a good idea, and a good design. I'm, I'm glad you're part of the design team here. Thank you. Thank you. Should we uh, go and see some of the finished yes. products we have? Absolutely. Okay, real good. So, Jason, this is a project uh, I think uh, you were involved with in, in Holly, Michigan. Is that correct? That's right. That's right. Brand new home on a very wooded lot on a private lake. Pretty awesome setting. Oh my gosh, what type of challenges do you come across in a, in a wooded area? I mean, aren't there a lot of wildlife and deer and things like that? Oh yes, and this, uh, a lot of shade, a lot of animals. So I chose deer tolerant, try to, deer tolerant plants and trees. And this one had a carriage house as well, off to the side. So I studied the architecture of the home, the location, which way it's facing, and uh, all of those elements come into play. Many, many different things come into play in this design. So first off, you, you meet with them and you go over some of their traffic uh, areas where they enter and, and, and walk around the house as well and then make some of these plant selections. And obviously, I'm sure it takes you know, a lot of hours to measure and to meet with to make sure you're, you're placing the plants it does. right where they need to go. It does. If I don't have a blueprint or a site plan from the builder, then I will take pictures and measurements on site and then come back rough in a sketch and then we put this into our computer software and come up with, here's a preliminary so far. Oh, that's wonderful. And then, and then of course, once you think you've got it pretty well completed, then it's what's nice is we throw some color to it because most people, including moi here, can't always understand what a blueprint is telling us because it's on a flat sheet of paper. Right. So then if you, I understand you went ahead and put some color to this and oh my goodness, would you look at this. Now tell me this doesn't pop. Right. Now even, even Joe, a homeowner can understand the difference between the lawn area and the bed areas with the mulch. We have samples of some of the trees he's proposing here. This is just sensational. Your, um, your design, you're taking the architecture and incorporating it into the landscape. That's right. Thus, landscape architecture. That's, that's right. Really the difference of what a good landscape design company can do versus just any typical land scraper. Yes, an example of that is studying the architecture of the home. The home has columns on this entrance, so I, I brought columns out here and... You mimic them. That's yes. great. Framing, framing that and drawing attention to that front entryway. Another set of columns over here in a new walkway, on the foreground of a new walkway, inviting you into this courtyard, this new garden area and uh, that takes you to new destinations. You know, it's kind of like on the inside of homes, people talk about a good floor plan. Well, in essence, that's what we're creating here, exterior rooms that have a nice floor plan where you can, again, you use the word destinations, walk from one area to the other. Right. I'm very impressed. Thank you, thank you very much. So uh, 
this is just a design only and uh, that's part of our design process too uh, we can do a design and it'll be yours it'll be yours to keep you can go shop that with other contractors you could do that yourself if you were able-bodied so this isn't just something where you'd be locked in it would be yours to keep so we do a lot of those don't we oh yes and and also what's nice because let's face it it can get expensive to do some of these projects but with a good design, you can phase it in the proper sequence. Right, and then an accurate plan, you'll be able to take these different elements and accurately break it down to exact square footages and pricing, so your project is on budget. Well, great. Hey, Jason, I'm very, very impressed. I, I can't wait to see the next design you come up with. Thank you very much. All right, All right keep up the good work. Thanks. We're back downtown Clarkston to a hundred year old home where we've transformed the backyard into a beautiful new hardscape and landscape. This is an Oaks built-in fire pit. This is what we would consider a seat wall with an accent band of color. This wall has built-in lighting underneath our cap there. Both, so from both sides that will be lit up in the evening. Also use these decorative columns as an anchoring point for this seat wall. We have a series of walkways. We've taken also a very steep hill and with boulder accents and the right plants and ground cover created a very colorful and problem solving plant scheme. Is it functional? Is it solving the problems? Is it meeting the objectives of the customer? So there's a lot that goes into a proper landscape design. Take your time. It all starts with an accurate plan.